Hi friends, welcome to the channel Mechanics of Solids. In this section, we will deal with composite structures. We will do some analysis, stress analysis as well as the load analysis on the composite structures. For that, what is a composite structure? A composite structure means two or different, two or more different materials are coupled together to form a single unit such that under tension or compression their behavior should be the same. That is a composite structure. I can show, a, show you a composite structure here. This is a steel rod and this is a copper rod. And this steel rod is and copper rod are rigidly fixed at the top and at the bottom there is a plate such that the steel and the copper should not move. Now, if I am giving a load, say 5000 Newton to this composite structure, we can say that some amount of load P1 is acting on the steel and some amount of load P2 is acting on the copper. So what will be our inference from that? P1 plus P2 will be equal to 5000 Newton or P1 plus P2 is equal to net load. This is our first inferences. As this is a composite structure, their behavior will be same under tension and compression. I already told you. What does this behavior mean? The behavior means their elongation under stretching or compression. Okay. Now I will tell you. The elongation occurring to this steel may be delta LS. Elongation to the copper is delta L. See you. Now delta L of the steel should be equal to delta L of the copper. Here the length, it is said that the length of the steel as well as the length of the copper are same. In that condition, we can say that strain on the steel should be equal to strain on the copper. How can I say that? We know that stress divided by strain is equal to Young's modulus E. Stress by strain is equal to Young's modulus E. Therefore, I can write sigma by E is equal to epsilon. Sigma by E is equal to delta L by L. Here the length is same and delta L is same. So, therefore, I can say that stress by elasticity is equal to a constant and that constant is strain. Therefore, I am saying that strain on the steel should be equal to strain on the copper. And this is the second inference I am getting from this. So, this is inference number 2 or this is inference number 1. Suppose, if the length is not constant, one length is different. Steel rod and copper rod are of different length. In that case, we can say that sigma divided by E into L is equal to delta L or sigma by E into L is a constant because their behavior will be the same as, the, as this is a composite structure. In that case we can write sigma divided by E into L of the steel is equal to sigma divided by E into L of the copper. This is the inference that we should take if the length of the steel and the copper are different. Okay, easy. Now we can solve a problem. Using these two inferences, we can solve a problem on composite. We are analyzing the stress and the load acting on the structures. Consider we are provided with a copper tube here. Inside the copper tube, I am going to fix a steel rod. This is the steel rod here. Said that the length is 15 centimeter for both steel as well as this copper tube. This is the steel rod and this is the copper tube. like this. I am fixing the steel rod here. This is the steel. This is the copper. 
This is the outer dia. Outer dia is given as 5 cm and the inner dia for the copper is given as 4 cm. And the diameter of the steel is given as 3 cm. A load of 45,000 Newton is acting on this composite structure. We should analyze the stress as well as the load acting on these two structures. For that, we are considering the first inferences that the first inference we are having P1 plus P2. You can take the second inference. Epsilon steel is equal to epsilon copper. That means that stress on the steel divided by E on the steel is equal to stress on the copper divided by E on the copper. Sigma S is equal to E steel by E copper into Sigma C. Therefore, Sigma is equal to 1.9 Sigma C. Because E steel we have 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square and E copper it is 1.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. This will be given in the question. Now we can take ES by EC that is the modular ratio. Elasticity of one material to the other material that is the modular ratio. Modular ratio. Here the modular ratio is 1.9 sigma C. From the second inference we can write that load on the steel plus load on the copper is equal to net load 45,000 Newton. From this we can write load is equal to stress into area. So load on the steel is equal to stress on the steel into area of the steel plus stress on the copper plus area of the copper is equal to 45,000. Now what is area of the steel is equal to pi by 4 into how much is the dia given 3 centimeter that is 30 mm 30 square that we will get as 706 mm square and now area of the copper is equal to pi by 4 area of the metal part you have to calculate therefore pi by 4 deep to outer dia square minus inner dia square you must consider pi by 4 into 50 square minus 40 square 5 centimeter 4 centimeter converting to millimeter on solving this you will get 706 mm square itself okay fine now we can substitute the values of sigma and area here sigma s is equal to 1.9 sigma c into 706.8 something plus sigma c into area of the copper 706.8 is equal to 45,000 from this we will get the value of sigma c is equal to we will get value of sigma c as 21.88 Newton per mm square and the sigma s is equal to 41.4 or 41.7 Newton per mm square and we are asked to find out the load acting on the steel as well as the copper for calculating the load and load on the steel and load on the copper we have sigma is just by stress is equal to load by area therefore load is equal to stress into area load on steel is equal to stress on steel into area of the steel stress on steel is 41.7 41.7 into 706.8 that's what you are getting as the load on the steel in newton and now load on the copper is equal to sigma of the copper into area of the copper that is equal to 21.8 into 706.8 that is 
that is the load you are getting in Newton. So that's how you can solve the problems for composite structures. Okay, thank you.